When I was in second grade, I discovered a secret. I was known as a girl with a broken brain. When I was 18 months old, I fell from the second floor of my, my house onto the dirty dishes outside our kitchen. And my mom heard that loud noise of broken dishes, and she thought it was coming from the dogs. So she ran outside the house, and she found me lying there with blood running from my head, nose, mouth, and everywhere. And she was terrified as she carried me to the doctor. And that doctor told her that if I survive this accident, I would probably be very slow when I enter the school. And this proved to be true in the beginning. I know my mom always had that doctor's word in her head and probably didn't expect much of me when it came to getting a good grade in school. And she was right. In Thai culture, if you are not getting a good grade in school, you, you're ignored by the teachers, no matter the reason why. And I felt invisible. I never excel in school until I found something really special inside of me, a drive that pushes me to pursue ways of doing things better. And my young heart want a better life. I was determined to understand how I could improve my brain and learning skills because I was so slow at comprehending things that other people understood so quickly. So over the years, as I grew older, I went on a quiz throughout my teenage years, reading hundreds of books, listened to many experts, until I discovered John Asaraf, who teaches the concept called inner size. And Asaraf defined inner size as mental and emotional exercises. And my experience of it is a lifestyle of strengthening my brain and reframing my thought from the inside out. As a dancer and yoga professional from Thailand, I have been working with my body for over 36 years. I practice Thai, classical Indian dance, and Ashtanga yoga for almost every day of the week. I found that it is easier to get on the mat and bend and twist my body like a pretzel, rather than trying to maintain what's going on inside my mind when facing adversity and stress of daily living. Each pose and movement in yoga had a lesson for us to learn, and that lesson had very little to do with the flexibility of our hips or the power of our lift. And more importantly, it had to do with the power of our mind. And this is the practice of inner size. For a long time, scientists thought that the brain is capable of growing and changing only during childhood. Now we know that the brain is capable of a great transformation throughout our life, even in old age. Inner size allow us to train our neurological muscle, or at least that's how I look at it. Our belief, willpower, confidence, habit, and focus are no different than the muscle we use for our physical training. And as we do a set of push-up, our arm muscle grows stronger. And for mental training, we can do a set of visualization, breathing, and affirmation. One day while I practiced yoga in front of my guru, he asked me to get into a, a bridge pose. So I dropped back. And he grabbed my hands and forced it to grab my ankle. And I was freaked out. <laughs> I thought my back was going to break. So I yelled at him, stop, it hurts. <laughs> my guru, which by the way, the word guru means the one who removed the darkness inside you. And he said this, four powerful words.
trust. Surrender. Let go. And as I came back up from that deep heart opening pause, I understood the power of true inner size. I saw it all come together. I saw the power of my mind working against me and for me. I felt the blood flush from my head to my toes. And I completely surrender of all the things that I try to control. And since that day, I used these words for my daily affirmation. And I even said to myself, Nim, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So your daily inner size might look different than mine. And if you don't know where to start, then allow me to offer you this simple but impactful practice. So I invite you to sit nice and tall and don't cross your legs. Don't cross anything. Just allow your feet to rest on the floor. Relaxing your shoulder and placing your hands on your lap with your, your hands facing upwards as a side of receptivity. And slowly close your eyes if you wish. And take a deep breath in through your nose. And slowly out through your mouth. And as you breathe, say this word in your mind. I breathe in trust. I breathe out fear. I breathe in surrender. I breathe out control. I let go. And go ahead and slowly open your eyes. So this simple breathing practice is one of the example of daily inner size that you can use. Another form of daily inner size that I want to share with you here is a daily affirmation. And you can use this daily affirmation to flood your mind with positive belief and to move through difficult circumstances. And through repetition, Affirmation reinforces an intention so deeply that it bypasses your conscious mind and it goes straight to your subconscious, creating new neural pathway within your brain. Well, let me demonstrate how it looks and sounds like. When I first began to practice the headstand, I thought to myself, I would never be able to do this. My body isn't strong enough. I'm afraid I'm going to fall. And of course, I will never be able to do this because of all the things, the negative thing that I say to myself and because my body listened to what's inside my brain. Okay, let me try again. Now I'm going to reframe my dialogue with the positive affirmation. Breathe slow. You got this. Focus. Keep going. It's all going to work out. I am strong. I am good enough. I can do this. The truth is, we all do this to a different degree. However, we hold the power to either reinforce our negative or deliberately affirm and to move toward what we are capable of. And this leads to my final form of daily inner size that I want to share with you here, visualization. When you visualize, you reimagine new possibility within your brain. In the other words, you can change your brain by thinking and not just by doing. This pose that I am moving into did not come easily when I first tried it. 
it wasn't enough to get limber and stretch my muscle out to place my hands and my legs into this prep position. This practice required me to visualize the pose, each step, how I would do it, how it would look. I had to see myself doing it successfully long before I could accomplish it. So how does this apply to our life? In my case, I have taken daily action and developed consistent practices that give me tremendous strength, resilience, and flexibility. I have utilized the power of inner size and exercise to transform from that little girl with the broken brain to a woman who had a strong body and powerful mind. And every one of us here have the ability to become who we are meant to be. And I invite you to reimagine your daily practices, adopt new way of learning how to trust, surrender, let go.